So today I'm here at this church parking lot sale and we're gonna see what we can find this morning. Found this jewelry here and I like this snake. I'm gonna get the snake. Oh, look at these little flowers here. They kind of look like the enameled ones. Maybe they are. They're very flower power, Brady Bunch. That looks fun. That looks like, they, I guess they're like some sort of shell. That's another, that's another snake there. That's really awesome. Look at these two. This is like a bracelet, very like Egyptian looking. That is so pretty with all the colors in there. All right, so the snake ended up being $5. That's really great. And then this little brooch here with the snake also, or no, three for the that one. So eight for the pair. That's really good. I, that bracelet is so neat. That's 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 fantastic. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Oh, there's some art glass, or not art glass. There's this fencing glass here. Oh. <laughs> And there's the green depression there. You think you could use that there's some of these hall ramekins. These are the jewel tea, hall jewel tea in the autumn leaf pattern. That's a pretty little picture for 15. Some figurines. All right. Is this glass, you think? Oh yeah, it is glass. That's cool, the shape of this one. Oh, everything's half off. How much is this? Okay, so that'd be ten dollars. Well, I might get that. It is cut glass. You can feel how sharp it. Well, you can't, but I can. You, it's sharper. I like this one a lot. This is like a Vaseline glass color because of it. Well, it's like yellow, you know. That's really great. Oh yes, and the Fenton. So this is custard glass. This one will glow under black light. That one will. But th this one, I don't know if this one will glow. It's too bright out. This one, the depression divided dish, that one will would glow. This separates from the basket though. You can kind of pull it out. But yeah, for 10 bucks, I'm gonna get this. I really like this little, this little piece. I'm gonna double check it for any chips or anything, but it's really pretty. There's even more jewelry over here. And it's all half price. Hmm. I mean, there's some really pretty things, of course. I like to dip my toes into the jewelry scene whenever I can. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this bracelet. That's lovely, that purple. It'd be $4. And it's one of these ones that like opens. All right, let's see what else we can find this morning. This is a pretty neat uh, planter. Look at that. With the wood. That's, that's nice, that mid-century flare. They've got a egg for 15 and a duck. What is this stuff now? Jewelry? There's a lot of jewelry here at the sale, all kinds. Well, when in Rome. There's saws. Huh. There's a random cookie cutter. Maybe they wore that on their ear. Look at this one. 1928 Boren Manufacturing Company for this lithographic print. $10. That is so pretty, that one. And then there's this lady here. She's 14. That's just a, that's another print. She's printed up. There's some um, things here. What's over here? There's some jewels. Some jewels. Huh, all kinds of things. Let's look over here. There's a paperweight, random jewelry, yeah, no. This, this elephant looks kind of interesting. Is that, you think that's a real, that feels real to me, that feels natural. Naturally what, I don't know. Oh, look at all the brooches. As for price, it's not all the same. Oh, okay. Look at this palm tree. I like the palm tree. There's some nice ones in here. I'm afraid, I would be afraid to ask the prices though. Anytime it says that, like, the, okay, how much is this? Oh, well, this is $5. 
So the thing is, like on something like this, is this is this like a made out of a tusk or something? Because if this this seems natural to me, and that worries me, you know. Huh. Just notice, there's this desert rose bell. I believe it's desert rose. Yeah. So it's Franciscan desert rose. That is the most strange thing I've never. I didn't know they made like a bell. And there's not like even a clapper in it. Do you think that maybe it just covers over? I don't know, I'm gonna get it. For anybody that collects the Franciscan Desert Rose pattern. This is out of California. So weird. Yeah, I'm gonna get that, that's pretty cool. Anyway, it's really pretty and they're crystal. They're crystal starburst, it's like, candle holders for a dollar and a half for the pair that's brilliant i'm doing that clearly they're just so great there's some tidbits there's this creamer here some plate stands it's over this direction it's a really nice morning we are making great progress here this morning at the flea market well it's like a little yard, yard sale parking lot sale these little plants down here they are they are four dollars each bamboo shoots grown in Taiwan oh my gosh there's some interesting ones down here though not badly priced at all huh oh there's more jewelry do you think we'll find anything else this looks like a little bit more costumey costumey it's a trash can okay it's an upside down trash can on a lazy Susan oh look at those mermaids that's really neat. We like a mermaid, don't we? That's cool. So they're three dollars, three dollars each. I don't think that's atrocious. I don't think that's atrocious at all. Get the mermaids. That'd be pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah, there's like seashells and there's other these other mermaids, but I don't like them as much. I like the ones. Seahorse. Yeah, these are nicer. Don't you think? I think. America. It's pretty cool. And there's this palm tree here. I like that as well. Gosh, look at these cats. Do you see that? So there, it's like $3 a pair or two for five. So I got two. I'm going to have to do like a miniature haul at the end of this video so you can see all the jewelry that I got because there's so much that you don't see. So we'll get those. Oh, even the bees. Oh, and the dice. Jeez Louise. Yeah, there's cats there too, but I don't, they're not as mid-century as the ones I have in my hand. Look at these atomic, well, they're not atomic, but they're geometric. At these prices, some of you are saying, why don't you just buy whatever you want and just settle it up at the end, you know, like, it'll all work out. I understand that. I'm very reserved, I guess, with my purchases. I like these mother of pearl as well, with the butterflies. Mm. I, need, I just need one more set in order to make a two for five special. There was another set over here. Let's take a look at them. I did leave them earlier. I would think it was, I forget what set it was though. They were, because I was going to maybe get them and then I decided. Oh, it was the palm tree. There's the palm tree. Yeah, yeah. I'll get the palm trees. So it's this one. She said she has the other one somewhere. Do you see that palm tree there? I'll get that one. Yeah. Next stop this morning, we are at the Ocala Preserves. They're having a community yard sale here in the parking lot of their community center. It doesn't look that large. It's pretty much just that one section over here, but yeah, looks can be deceiving and you never know. This is a really nice area that I didn't know existed. Honestly, there's like a shuffleboard court. It seems like a really nice area, lots of nature. And uh, I think it might be like a senior area more so maybe why i didn't ever hear about it when i was house hunting these are 50 cents each look at these they look like this crackled glass that's kind of fun that's tempting little let's see what are these oh it's like a peacock no christmas maybe for the wine painted seasons of light 
vodka. Oh, interesting. Hmm. USA Teddy Bear. Oh, look at this gal. Made in China, DW141. She's a Hawaiian woman. For 25 cents? That's really not bad at all. Do you think we should do something like that? I don't know. What are these? Chickens? Oh, they're like the little rubbery things you could like fling at people probably. For 50 cents. Huh. Look at this, 75 cents. It says made in Italy. It's no wonder. For 75 cents. That is, well, we need it. And there's some bears. Yeah, no, there's oh, some definitely. jewelry. Yeah, okay, thank you. There's some nice little jewels over here. But yeah, I'm gonna get that. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a few vendors. Not a lot, but you know, we're making the best out of it. I already got that really awesome piece from Italy. That was that was really great. There's some steering wheels. Hopped over. We're in the same neighborhood here, and they have these showroom or the what are they called? Like the houses that you could walk through. 2,700 square feet, four bed, three and a half bath. The Camden model. There's a Del Rey. And then there's an Aster up here, these model homes. So if we were a little bit later in the day, we could walk through them and see. Oh, they can never get into their garage. It's all landscaped. But yeah, the model homes. This is an interesting area here. And it's just really pretty with all of the greenery and everything. The magnolia trees over there. And the sky, it's, it's blue. They have a blue sky here too. That's nice. All right, let's take a closer look of what I got from the flea market because there are some things here that you definitely did not see me even buy. But we'll start over here. I just don't know anything about it. So if you happen to know, let me know in the comments below. Oh, I just noticed something else that I didn't notice before. There's a little bit of a chip right there. Well, is it though? It's not really a chip. It's just the way that it is. So it's this beautiful piece here and you can see it kind of has like this yellow kind of I don't know like a canary glass like a Vaseline glass it does not glow under black light do you see the prisming in there that's the the crystal it's definitely cut and you can see just how sharp and angular all of that is I don't know what this is I don't know who did it I don't know very much about it at all what I do know is it's good quality this is a good quality piece and I had to get it for that so I'm glad I did I like it. So if you happen to know anything about this, definitely put it in the comments below. I need to wash it, but I like that one. It's very, very nice. You did see me get this. I like that one too, the snake. And it like opens up and it fits like, it probably goes around your whole leg. It's big. Oh, it's, I, that's a neat one, the snake. Okay, so this one here, I don't know much about like real animal parts and stuff, what, what, what it takes to be real or not. What I do know is this is carved and it's not molded. So this is actually a carved piece as opposed to a molded piece. You can kind of just tell that based on, I don't know, everything. But what I can't be sure of is, is what's the material itself. So I heated up a needle and I did it until it was like turning black on the end. And I tried shoving it in the back here. There's not one mark on there from that needle. So it did not go in or anything. So there's that. It has, you know, I, I don't know how to describe it. This is not my wheelhouse. I just thought it was really cool. And I bought it for that one and only reason. But uh, oh, it has this like little clasp here that like twists together. So. Again, let me know if you know anything about that one. I did get the candlesticks. I showed those, talked about those. And here's the jewels, the other jewelry that I got. This one is silver, I believe. The sterling silver. I like that one. If I can remember correctly, I think I paid $4 for this one. But I like the little amber stone on there. It has all the little facets. It's not in perfect shape, but it's beautiful and it is sterling. So I like that one. This one, again, it's amazing. I think this one was like maybe five or six dollars. In the moment, I didn't realize it was missing a little stone there. But as costume jewelry goes, it's beautiful. And if you just get yourself a little stone there, it would be solved. But overall, I just love that one. Really, here's the back of it. 
You can date pieces like this based on the clasp where it can, where it closes. And uh, I don't have that all memorized, but I like that one. The little snake, there's the back of that one. It's just cute, I like the snake. This key one, also very cool. I think I paid maybe four or five dollars for this one too. I thought it was interesting, the, the, the key with the blue stone looking thing. Stupidly, I got two sets of the same palm trees. I don't know, in all the kerfuffle of looking for earrings, I, I managed to do that, but got two of those. But these, I love these little cats right here. Those are so pretty. And then I got the mermaids that I was so anxious to get to those. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with my, my, my items, all relatively smaller things. But this one here, I've seen it before. It's been a long time. And I can't even be sure if I saw it in the yellow like this or if it was clear or maybe even like an icy blue color <sighs> or a green at that, you know, at that point. So, uh, but I, it's just beautiful. The shape of that's nice. And I don't even know what it would have held because it's, it's not like a cigarette box because it's not really the shape of that. It's too small on the bottom. It's acting more like a jewelry box or something doesn't make sense for any sort of like um, cosmetic because the label wouldn't lay anywhere correctly. So yeah, I don't know, but that's the haul.